Hello everyone, this is Angie. So today I want to talk about my braces and uh, this is the final stage that I want to talk about and currently I'm actually braces free. <laughs> so during the last stage when I was at the dentist, what the dentist did was to remove the metal, the metal casings of my braces and actually it felt a little bit painful because the dent I mean the braces has been fixed the metal braid of fixtures has been fixed on your teeth uh, on your teeth for about one one and a half years for mine about one to two years time so when you remove it of course it will feel a bit uncomfortable so once the metal fixtures come out you will tend to lick your teeth like that and then you will feel you will feel that there are glue that is holding onto the metal metal casing sticking I mean still on your teeth so what the dentist will need to do is to remove them. So to remove the glue from the teeth, clean the teeth, polish your teeth, scale it so that you will have a beautiful smile, beautiful, bright and white smile. So what happened was that on that day, um, the dentist handed me this. My old my my old set of teeth. So it look it looks like this. So it's actually pretty ugly. So you can see that um, this is my original teeth. This is the top. Do you see? I have actually very uneven teeth, front teeth, but the side is actually quite okay. Yeah, especially this side. This side. And this is my bottom. Very very bad uh, slanted front side. See? Can you see it? Yeah, it's quite bad. And then the side is quite okay as usual. And um four four of my tooth was removed. One, two, as well as three here and four. For you. So yes, this is my old set of teeth. And uh, when you're there, well, after removing your braces, what you need to do was um, what the dentist made me do was to uh, make a, another mold of my new set of teeth so that retainers can be made. What I found really difficult was the fact that I need to wear retainers every night for the rest of my life because uh, it's really quite uncomfortable when I, when I had it on the last three nights. So this is how it looks like. Um, this is my this is my top set of teeth. So it's gonna be fixed on like that, as well as the lower set of teeth. It fixed on like that. So yeah, this is how this is how retainers look like, and uh, trust me, it's not comfortable at all. So today I'm gonna answer a few questions that uh, I think you all might be interested in to you know wearing braces and my entire braces journey. So the first question is, uh, this is what I get a lot, is uh, do you feel pain? Um, how, how is the pain like? What, what is the most painful uh, procedure that you've actually been through? Um, to me, the most painful procedure is wearing, what is that called? Separators. Wearing separators to me is the most uh, difficult part of my braces journey because it, it's so uncomfortable. It's actually trying to separate the teeth so that they can fix the metal fixtures in properly. But it's way too painful for me, and I couldn't actually eat anything at all. I lost. I think I lost quite a bit of weight when I was on the separator. So yeah, that's the most painful part. Throughout the whole braces journey, uh, other than the first three months, I actually don't feel any more pain uh, prior to the rest of the months because okay, the tightening of braces is not so bad. My, my dentist actually tell me that uh, it doesn't mean that as tight as you go and as tight as you, you tighten it then the braces will come off earlier. There's no such thing. It actually really depends on how the shifting of your teeth actually uh, works together with the metal fixtures. So, yeah. The next question is what is the most uncomfortable thing that uh, I find eating when I have braces. I would say noodles. Remember during my 
second or third month of two races, I actually couldn't really eat noodles and I had to swallow, <laughs> swallow them. So swallowing them is actually pretty um, awful because I can't chew. When I chew, then it gets stuck into my teeth and then actually it curls around and one, once there was one that almost choked on the noodles. I, I took such a big mouth that most of them stuck, got stuck at my throat area so ever since then I've stopped eating noodles unless the noodles are really cut really small and I think the best is to avoid eating chewing gum or oh, there's a big no and eating nuts uh, there was once I ate nuts and one of uh, my braces bracket actually came out and it was terrible so do not eat nuts no no good and chewing gum no for, no for you noodles I don't know probably it's okay for you but no for me are there any different options prior to having metal, bra metal braces? Yes, definitely. Uh, some of my friends went through Invisalign and I do not think it's actually a better op option compared to metal braces. So far, um, I've gone through research and i found that metal braces are actually the best, one of the best choices if you want your teeth to um, really shift properly and stay there for a long time. This is a question that I feel that everyone is keen to know about, which is uh, losing weight. Well, when I'm on braces, for the first half of the year, I did lose some weight. But after that, uh, as I got used to it, when I, as I got used to wearing braces, uh, lesser ulcers, my gums, my teeth, my, uh, my mouth toughened up, I went back to my normal diet and eating normal stuff except for the few things that I mentioned just now. So losing weight, yes, probably at the start, but towards the end, no. For face shape, uh, what happened was I spoke to a doctor before and he actually told me that when you have braces on, the muscles actually shrink. And remove, the removal of your tooth actually does help. So yes, I do think that my face shape did change and become smaller. For me, I actually removed four molar teeth and I did not remove my wisdom tooth because I had four wisdom tooth. I didn't remove any one of them because they are going, going straight and not causing me any pain or anything else. So no, I didn't remove my wisdom tooth. Uh, the last question about... This was my friend. She was asking me if I felt anything um, kissing with braces. No, I don't think so. I have not asked Alex, so I don't think so. Um, maybe, yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable that you feel a bit like metalish inside your mouth, but no, I don't think so. I will still kiss. Yeah, I still kiss. <laughs> okay, so. That's the end of my braces journey. I'm really thankful that all of you have followed me through my braces journey this far. And it's actually been one and a half years since I got my braces. So please do check out all my related blog posts on my braces. And feel free to ask me any questions. And I'll be very, very happy to answer all of you. For those of you who are considering to have braces, well, I would say go for it. It's one of the best decisions that I ever made in my life and looking back at my old photos, I can't help but just be so so thankful that one of my friends actually told me, yeah you should do braces, you know. And I gave it a very long thought about it for about one year and I actually finally went for it, so yay! Embraces free! So thank you, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Bye.